This is Duke University. The government has injected billions of dollars into our financial institutions. And I think that it is not unreasonable to ask for a greater level of transparency. You know, just uh, last week, um, Royal Bank of Scotland announced a loss of $41 billion. That's a massive loss for, for any bank. And it shows how dire the situation is in that particular bank. Now, if you look at the earnings announcements from our banks, you see you know, some bank minus uh, $7 billion. But what does that really mean? Like, how, how can we use that number? Does that mean this bank is healthier than RBS? One problem in this crisis is that we don't really know what the value of these financial institutions actually is. There is great degree of uncertainty. The government is making massive investments into entities that I don't believe that they've actually gone through asset by asset, liability by liability, and figured out what the value actually is. It seems to me in terms of the basic rule of due diligence. What we teach our students, you go in and do a careful valuation before you actually make a bid. But that hasn't been done. And I think that it feeds into the uncertainty over all of our financial institutions. What does the $300 billion that sits off balance sheet in Citigroup. What does that mean? It's a reasonable question. As taxpayers, we're putting a lot of money into Citigroup. Yet, it's not clear what the value of that investment actually is. I don't think that's fair to the American people. And I think that if we're going to be dropping money as equity injection or backstopping the, um, the troubled assets of these financial institutions. I think that we should demand some accountability, not just on how that money is being used, but what the value of the actual institution is. Right now, I have no idea. I cannot tell a good bank from a bad bank. I don't know what's viable and what isn't. That creates uncertainty, it creates volatility. It creates a climate where nobody trusts the numbers. The earnings announcements are vacuous, doesn't mean anything. So I think that we need more transparency uh, in order to move forward. It might be bad news, but I'm, I'm better off knowing the bad news than suspecting for many months we don't want to get into the trap that the Japanese were in for, for over a decade where nobody knew what their financial institutions were worth, though people suspected that they were all uh, underwater. We need to have transparency.